As we uh, get to the next topic, uh, Nick, earlier you stated uh, Caitlin Clark. You feel that um, she's getting a raw deal? Do we think that the WNBA set her up for failure? Is that what we're thinking at this point? What so, so I don't think that they set her up for failure. It happened to look that way. But they wanted to mer- they wanted to market their best merchandise product in the in the league. They wanted to put out put it out there as much as possible. I don't blame them for that. She's the hot commodity. She's bringing in the hot bucks. Everybody wants to see it. You gotta ride the wave while it's hot. The shit's hot as hell right now. You gotta ride it. You gotta put it out there as much as possible, as much as possible. Get in front of the TV, get in front of the fans, and you wanna do it as quick as possible. And you trying to hope that she keeps the fans intrigued and keep them coming back. So that's why they got her playing. So she, they played eight games already. Nobody else played over six games. The Las Vegas Aces only played four games at this point. It's only been 15 days into the season. They already played 11 damn games or something like, or, or seven damn games. It's, it's been a lot. Whatever it is, it's been more than everybody else. Well, eight games. Oh, my bad. Eight games, right, Rudy? Um, The Fever? Yeah, eight games. They, play, they play, they've played eight games. In like 12 or 13 days. Whatever it is. They shouldn't be playing that much, but you have to you have to push it. You have to fucking push it as much as possible and as fast as you can. You have to, man. It's it's going on right now. She plays Angel Reese in a couple of days. You gotta keep marketing her, man. She's what she's she's bringing everybody. She's bringing Rudy eyes. She's bringing Donald eyes. She's bringing Nick eyes. She's bringing the whole world eyes. The male eyes, even though they don't want the males eye, the male eyes to watch the, their sport and to support them. She's bringing that. And if we stop, then they ain't gonna have nothing. They kind of need us, but. That's neither here nor there, even though it's here. Um, they need us, man. They need us. They need us bad. And they have to put it out there, man. She's what we're watching, man. Like we, I said before, she is the female version of Steph Curry. That's what we want to see. We want to see the threes. We want to see her get shots. We want her to shoot 20 times a game. I don't know what this hell, this eight time a game bullshit that's going on. Seven times a game, eight, nine. She's the motherfucking product that we all here to see. Shoot the fucking ball 25 times, 30 times. I don't care. Average 28 points, 30 points. She's good enough to do it. She just came back with a 30-point game. She's a fucking baller. We want to see her. Did the, did the league set her up for, for failure? She should get some rest. But damn it, we got to push her. And they only got like nine, ten teams in the league anyway, man. So she's going to be playing against the best teams. You can't avoid playing the best teams. Unless, who, who are we going to have her play to start the season? The Atlanta fucking fever. I mean, the Atlanta fucking whatever they call <laughs> the Atlanta fever. <laughs> My bad. Like, there's only so many bad teams in the league, man. You got the you got Connecticut, you got you got New York, you got uh you got uh Las Vegas, you got Phoenix is solid, um Seattle's solid. It's, it's, there's no running, there's no dodging them. Everybody's pretty much for WNBA standards are very good players. So it's it's gonna be very fucking the the parody the parody of the league. The, Did you what? say they're all very good players? Oh, you should be ashamed of yourself. I'm saying in regards to everybody that's in the league, I'm not saying, I mean, everybody can't be trash. Somebody has to be good. Even if even if everybody's bad, somebody's there's good. There's no out. tremendo mierda in that league, even, bro. Even if everybody, bad. Even if, everybody, bad even, even if everybody's bad, somebody's good out of the bad. Yes, so, there's somebody, some, a few some, good ones, but most of them are bad. Somebody has to be the best player of the bad. They so, cut first-round picks in this league because they're all bad. No, they cut first-round picks because they don't have that much players. It's, it's limited. It's, it's very, you, know that there's very only, you know there's only 12 players left of the draft from the 36 that were drafted? Yeah, it's very limited, man. And, oh, did and, you know that? Yeah, it's, it's it's a tight ship that runs over there, man. If you're not good enough to play, like, you're not going to be there. Like, So you have to come and bring whatever you're bringing to that team. You have to bring it right I now. I don't think it all is that, but okay. What it is then? Go ahead. Please tell I me. Think you, I think you have a bunch of old heads that are trying to keep these young kids down. Old I think you have a bunch, of, a bunch of old-ass players who should be out of the league. Who are helping keep these young players? Are they, cut, are, are they cutting them? They're not even giving them a chance. Why are you drafting them? They're not even getting a chance. You're telling me a girl who had, who was like the third leading scorer in the history of college basketball can't score? Can't score? She can't make. Can't that play? Team. She can't play? No, she made the team. And she can't she made the team. They cut her. Deja Fair. Yeah, I know. They cut about. her two days ago. They cut her five, four games in. Mm-hmm. So all of so who'd you sign? Who'd you bring in? I don't know. That's the thing. 
We don't know. Monica. So we're gonna get we're gonna get rid of a twenty seven point per game score in college last year. In college, in college. Are you telling me the girl, girl, your girl can't score? Like you, it, it, this is the problem. I'm sorry, you, you, I cut you off. Continue. No, 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 go, no. I was listening to you. I'm just saying, Jimmy the problem, Fredette. The problem, people like that. Well, Jimmy Fredette was six foot tall and white, and he couldn't. And he's again, you got to be a six foot is it, special is person. It, is it fair, like five five or something? She's like five six, but she's but there's plenty of five six women and five seven women in our league. <clears throat> right now, by the end of the weekend, the Indiana Fever will have played eleven games in twenty days. Eleven games in twenty days, and five of them, I'm sorry, six of them will be on the road. Six. So they played eight games. They got three more. They got they play Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. Imagine if an NBA team played Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. There would be a fucking riot. There'd be a strike. They would go crying about how tired they are in their charter jets. It, and, 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 no, no, it and happens on road trips. It happens. It does not happen three and four anymore. They don't do it. They don't do it. it they don't do it. They've played 11 times by Sunday. They'll play 11 times in 20 days. While you have teams that have played five times. The Las Vegas Aces have five games. The Fever played eight times in that what, same stretch. The Aces, four of those, the Aces by, play today? By, the Aces play by by next by Sunday. The Aces will have played six times with four games at home. So, I understand what the WNBA WNBA wants to do. Yeah, what they're doing is destroying their best asset because she's getting absolutely fucking killed out there. She's getting fouled. I mean, she's getting hit every time she touches the ball, as she should. I'm just saying. What do you mean from, as she should? As from I'm a, watching from I'm a competitive. Watching. I'm just saying. I'm just. I'm just. There was one, a girl. Did you watch second, the game yesterday? One, one second. One second. From a competitive standpoint, when somebody shoots the ball as well as she does, and is a threat as soon as she cross half court, what are you Steph known to do? Is, Steph is a threat. No one's guarding him at half court. Yes, they in hell they are. What are you talking about? Especially when no, it gets to, when it no, gets to the playoff time. In, yeah. in, in the fourth game of the season, Nick. <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying when it gets in to the, the third game of the season, they're guarding gets, him at half court. No, they're gets, not. When it gets to playoff time. Yeah, yeah, and you know what he's doing in the playoffs? He's running off 400 screens. So you that's the post So that's you the post Can I finish? Okay, okay. Can I finish? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So you know what's happening with Indiana? They got this girl dribbling the ball on the floor, dishing it, passing it, doing what she got to do, and they run her off no screens. They don't call out screens when she's about to get cream from the front and the side. I've watched the games where her own teammates are letting her get crushed. Kind of like what the Spurs allowed to happen to Wemby in the first month of the season. Where they weren't, where he'd be wide open for a dunk to win the game and the fucking teammate throws up a bullshit shot and they lose. This girl right now is taking like 14 shots a game. She had 30 yesterday. Yes, does she still have a turnover issue? Sure. And I can show you a video of 10 of those turnovers that were fumbled away by her teammates that she gets credited for. Does she still need to work on that? Yes, absolutely. Every time Kelsey Mitchell's on the floor with her, it's a negative because Kelsey Mitchell's a bricklayer. She, she's 5'7", by the way. I, I think, she, she's I, a bricklayer. Every time the girl's on the floor, she, she's 5 for 15. Why does she get 15 <laughs> shots while Caitlin Clark's taking 15 shots? But you've but you put a situation where a woman who literally just got out of college a month ago, month and a half ago now, is playing every other day in a WNBA. Now that's Not only that, she's played Connecticut twice, New York twice, and Las Vegas. And by Sunday, she'll have played New York three times. So, so six of the 11 games are against the three best teams in the league. So What kind of insane scheduling is that? If you're trying to build up this woman, your feature attraction, who uh, tonight draws 18,000, tomorrow they play somebody else, draws 18,000. Rudy, Rudy. But the team she just played draws six the next day because she's not there. Rudy, do you think... You're do destroying you, her. Do you think that, that we that we and, and WNBA thought that she was going to be so good that she can handle... Going against anybody that came up that, that came upon her, like you can't. But dude, she, the, she went to the worst team in the league. No, no, I get that. I, I did you expect that. her to carry the fucking worst team in the league and go? I don't know, thirty five and seven. Fuck no, 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 not that. But we thought we thought it would be a little bit better no, than one and seven. One and seven. A lot. We thought, I thought her, they, 
We thought we should make Aaliyah Boston life a lot better. First of all, first of all, I didn't know they were playing the best teams in the league. Yeah. Every other night to start the season, I didn't know that. So what, what would you do? What would you, you do? If you had told me, if you had told me they were playing Connecticut, New York, New York, Connecticut, the first four, I tell you they were zero and four. So what, yeah. you, what would you do? Would you would you schedule them against the Atlanta? What's it? What's the Atlanta FIFA? Yeah, like, dude, they, okay, they played the Sparks twice and they beat the Sparks once and they lost the next game. I mean, they played. They yeah, they play. lost by. They lost by. Okay, listen. They can't play them the whole time. But but listen, listen, they lost by four to Connecticut. They yeah. lost by two to Seattle. They lost by they lost by six last night. They've been they in lost, the game. They've been all they've been in all those games for the most part, except for that. You know what the problem is? Her teammates suck. Her teammates <laughs> suck. They're not good. They're not good, and she's not shooting enough because her coach is fucking awful. I'm telling you right now, the new coach will be Lisa Bluter from Iowa next oh, year. Whoa, that's There's big, no that's... way the Indiana coach is there next year because that woman actually she called Caitlin Clark out yesterday. Says you can't be talking to the referees. Oh. Can you imagine if fucking Steve Kerr said that shit about Draymond Green and him and his mouth? And if Steph Curry ever said Draymond Green said, shut the fuck up. Oh my god. Oh, by the way, Natasha Cloud, you need to shut the fuck up, you fucking idiot. Stupid ass from the fucking Phoenix Mercury telling men to shut the fuck up and not watch the game and learn history. You don't know dick about basketball, clearly. Because men, more often than not, know more history about your game than you do because I've actually been alive longer than you have. And I've been watching the WNBA, especially early on. I watched a whole lot of it. But I do think that Caitlin Clark is getting, she's getting fouled on levels at certain points that I just watched Angel Reese draw a foul that got a girl ejected, which I don't think she should have been ejected. Um, it was a flagrant foul. I mean, they kicked the girl out of the game. Those girls were teammates in college, I believe, Alyssa Thomas, because they both went to Maryland. Or maybe she knew her from Maryland. I'm not sure. But I can tell you this. Caitlin Clark took a fucking forearm across the face by the Las Vegas Aces on a block shot that the girl then came down and took her fucking boom right in her face. And if that was a, an NBA game, that's a flagrant foul. In this game, it was a common foul. So I think there are certain fouls that people are taking liberties with. And I think they're doing it to all the young players because you have a petty bunch of bitter-ass old broads who don't want these young women to survive, to, to succeed. They don't well, want them to succeed. Well, you don't think that they're just being competitive? No. Nah. They're, the they're not that competitive against each other. Are you what? watching? Yeah, are you I'm watching. watching. I'm watching. Yeah. Are you watching? Are you watching the other but games that Rudy, don't include them? Rudy, Rudy, no, no, <laughs> no. But Rudy, that's what everybody does. You don't just let the newcomers come in and and do no. it and, and hopscotch around and it's do a, but, it's, but, but no, you I'm, get I'm, called. I'm, I'm keeping it real. You don't it's a flagrant or flagrant. You, no, no matter who it is. No matter who you are, you don't let. It's these, a flagrant or flagrant. It, no is, it, it is. is. It is. Yes. It is. But you don't let yes. newcomers come in the league and just take over and do what the fuck they want to do. You don't. You set precedent. You you play. Did you ever hear people say that shit in the NBA? We're not going to let that guy do it. No. They, no, you they, didn't. They, they don't. First of all, who was fouling LeBron's six foot eight, 250 pound ass as a fucking rookie? Yeah, because he was six eight, 250 oh, pounds. Oh, uh, well, okay. Caitlin's okay. Not, Caitlin's not that. She's not a. The girl who fouled her smaller than her. She's not I'm a. I'm just saying, like, the, 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 you know what? You want to know when it's going to stop? You know, you want to know when it'll stop? When Caitlin Clark gets up off the ground and punches one of these bras in the mouth. She's That's when it'll stop. It. And she won't do it. it. And she won't do it. Or when one of her teammates <laughs> pulls a Draymond Green. Because her teammates are part Ooh. of the problem. Which Draymond Green? The choke them out? The, the, the stump them? Either, either the stump one. Them, any, any of them. The kick them? Any of them. Um, I don't, any, the punch any of them. I don't know. Oh, any Draymond? Them. Okay, all Draymond. Any okay. one of them. Any, any one of the Draymond? Any one of them. You, you any ask. one. Nut, nut, I mean, the nut shot won't this. work. Yeah, okay. And maybe, the nut maybe, shot won't work because maybe, I mean you don't have maybe. nuts, but but a but a foot a foot a chest stomp or, <laughs> or a punch, a, a attack, a punch, uh, a check, so so cold. <laughs> I, I mean that I walk. There was a you said. Did you send me the video? Uh, you sent me the video uh, of the uh, girl who's talking about the two girls that used to date. <laughs> you sent me that, right? Yes, I sent you that. Two girls that used to date on opposite teams. One of them with the fever. One of them with the sons, Connecticut son. And what happens? One girl from the other team fouls the other. They don't date anymore, but Erica Wheeler for the fever trying to do something. And the other ex-girlfriend pulls her away. What? 
Oh, you're going to touch my ex-girlfriend? Like what? like, what is going on? It is a reality TV show. So that's what I told y'all to do, man. I said, have the show hard. Okay, hard knockers. We're going to have the show. And it's going to be reality TV. It's going to get behind the scenes. And this is what people want to see. I told y'all that before. Oh, everybody looked at me and said, Nick, oh, you're crazy. No, I told y'all, this is what gets people going nowadays. Everybody loves reality TV. Put the camera back there. Now we got the little things that's going on. And the women are going to be like, oh, that's disrespectful. Oh, not disrespectful when y'all watching Love and Hip Hop for the 90th time or we're watching Love is Blind for the 300th time. No, but when it comes to the WNBA, it's just a problem. But no, it's a fucking smart idea because that's going to get the women involved and intrigued in the league because that's what gets them fucking going. They love that shit. Don't, don't, y'all ain't going to tell me and lie to Nick Taylor and tell me, oh, this is not what y'all love. No, y'all love that. It's all over social media. It's post, posted on Ballers Alert. Y'all all in everybody's business. That's what y'all want. That's what the, To get the women to join this game and love it and really pay attention, you're going to have some type of reality TV. It might not have to get all the details like, like that situation right there where it's so lovey-dovey and x crawls and we're lovers on, but haters, but lovers on the court, but not lovers. I don't know what's going on, but that's what's going to get women into this thing. Basketball, men, we want to see Caitlin Clark. We want to see ability and actions like Caitlin Clark. Somebody coming down the court, shooting the ball the way she does, putting it between her legs, breaking ankles, pushing off. We want to see that as men. That's that's what because we can't see dunking. So the next best thing is shooting ability and shooting it from distance. We love that. But on the women's side, to get them involved, it's gonna to have to be reality TV. I'm sorry, that's just what it's gonna be. I I do think that in order for Indiana to become a better team, they have to let this woman shoot 20 times a game. Like, she has to shoot 20 times a game. You know what? Because that's no, it's going to open, it's gonna open up it's everything gonna open up every. It's going to open up. It wanted to open up more free throws for her because last game she shot 15 free throws because she was attacking the basket the whole damn game. But it's going to open up free throws. It's going to open up many more passes for teammates. Pick and roll. It's going to create so way. much more. Because right now, a number of her shots, she's forcing. She's forcing. Like, she took a shot or two shots against um, the Sparks yesterday where she was like a few steps in front of half court, like just heaving it up, hoping, you know, and the comedy is when you watch your teammates catch the ball, literally toe on the line, they shoot an air ball. I mean, an air ball three from the toe on the line. And people are asking why people watch Caitlin Clark because she don't need her toe on the line. She doesn't have to have her toe on the line to shoot a three. Whereas most of these teammates can't shoot beyond 22 feet. They can't. They just don't make the shots. They, they don't have to, whatever it is, they don't make the shots. And it just gets, you have to run actions for her. You have to have her running off screens. Down screens, constantly. pin down. Constantly. All because those right things now, for double ball screens. Everything, everything she does, she's creating herself. They're not creating any offense for her. She's dribble handoffs, go to the basket, or take a, a, a tough contested three. They are guarding the shit out of her at the three-point line. They absolutely are. It's very rare she's got an open look. But at the end of the day, like, you want her to be good? They play 11 games in 20 days where no one else comes close to that. In the next 10 days after that, they play four games. And they're, and they're, and they're playing, and again, they're playing Connecticut again. And they're, I mean, they're playing the three best teams in the league a million times. So I, that's do the East, I think, huh? That's the East Coast, though. I mean, they're going to play the East Coast teams more than any. I don't even know what the scheduling rule is in the WNBA. I mean, I, I, I mean, of course, they're not, not traveling I'm, all the way to the West as much as they're going to do East Coast. I'm just, I'm just assuming. I could be wrong, but. I'm pretty and sure. I just don't want to. And I just don't want to hear Caitlin Clark being shit on because she came as turnovers. She needs to clean it up. But she's the reality, she's the, she's literally the one that has the ball in her hand, literally thirty five minutes a game. She's a and, rookie who just graduated. She just but the finished. players. What I'm saying is the players that commit the most turnovers have the ball. LeBron James has the most turnovers she, in NBA history. She has to get it down to about by three, a lot. She has to get it down to three point five to four though. The way she yeah. handles the ball, that's five, fine. Five, five is too much. I, I'm not saying it's not, but this 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 overreaction. To turnovers, because they they lost yesterday, and the Sparks committed seven more turnovers than they did. And she had third, like the the line earlier this week where they won, and people said, "Oh, she played inefficiently." Well, if Angel Reese has ten rebounds, eight assists, I'm sorry, ten rebounds, eight assists, four, four steals, and a block, they'll say that Angel Reese played a great game. But when it's her, because she only had eleven points, she only took nine shots. She played like shit to people. It's, it's stupid. It's just stupid to me. But then she has 30, and they'll say, oh, she committed six turnovers. Like, they're going to pick things to, to pick at. Jamel Hill recently said that the reason that people even like her is because she's straight. 
She's not even cute. Like, stop. <laughs> like, she's not Cam Brink. She's not Rakia yeah. w- w- Mitchell. What is the girl from the Sparks? Was the model looking girl from uh from Tennessee? Like, Rakia. Like, like, Rakia Mitchell or Williams. I think it is. I think that's her name. I think go look at the girl from L.A. Sparks. <clears throat> um, but I mean, yeah, I think they need. Uh, I think the WNBA has done a disservice because it's not giving this team enough time to actually get better. Because if you're playing every other day, you're not going to get better. You have no chance to get better because they only have a two game preseason. But that's all I got. <sighs> Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.